Hello children. Welcome to today's English class. Students, in our today's session, we are going to do assignment of cycle 6. I hope you remember that yesterday we had done the reading section of the assignment. In continuation with that, today we will do part 2 of the assignment. And what is there in part 2 of the assignment? Yes, we have some grammar practice for you. Do you remember the grammar topics that we have covered recently? Yes, very good. We have covered the usage of helping verbs is, am, are, was, were, has, have and had. So, related to these helping verbs, we will do some questions. Questions are of different types and I am sure you will enjoy doing these questions. So, without any further delay, let's get going. And here is the first question for you. Yes, it says, Some information about the giant panda is given below. Fill in the blanks with is, am or are. Children, do you remember the usage of these three helping verbs? Is, am and are? Yes. Just to remind you, with he, she, it and singular nouns, we use the helping verb is. Am is used with, yes, only I. And with we, you, they and plural nouns, we make use of the helping verb are. Right children? So keeping this in mind, let us start with the first question. Oh, there is a little panda for you. What does it has, it has to say? It says, I am a giant panda. Okay, so we can see that with I, we make use of helping verb am. So this was an example for you, already done for you, right? Next ones you have to do on your own. Next is... I dash a land animal. I dash a land animal. Yes, with I, we have to see which helping verb do we use. Very good. Am. We cannot forget that. So, I am a land animal. That was quite easy. And children, during the course of this question, while we are doing this question, I think we can gather a lot of information about this giant panda. First thing we have got to know is that giant panda is a land animal. Let us see. What next? I 
dash a large animal okay so again this one is again easy for you because with i we had just done that with i the only helping verb that is used is very good am i am a large animal another piece of information for you okay let's move on to the next one my face dash round so children now we have to see till now we were just adding a helping verb with i that was quite simple now we have to see what are we talking about is it singular is it plural or is it a pronoun like he she it we you they right so we have to be very very careful my face my face now we are talking about singular noun right so with singular noun which helping verb do we use very good i'm sure it has come to your mind and should i show you the answer okay is my face is round why is because face is a singular noun we are talking of face that is singular so we have made use of the helping verb is yes we can see panda's face is round in shape another information what is there next my coat dash black and white again children we have to see whether we are talking about singular or plural right it says my coat now what is this coat the way we wear coats does a panda also wear coat have you ever seen a panda wearing a coat like us no my dear children the coat here refers to the skin that is the outer fur of this panda that we can see is white and black in color so my coat singular again and we know the helping verb very good it is is my coat is black and white yes we can see the coat of panda it is black and white in color let's move on to the next one i dash an endangered animal zoos across the world dash protecting me what is an en endangered animal do you know children as the name tells children endangered means something that is in danger any species of animals or birds that are very less in quantity in in number in fact that are very less in number on earth are known as endangered species endangered means their number is very less like panda is one of them similarly asiatic lions are also endangered species their number on this earth is very less they are very less in number so that's why they are called endangered animals so i dash 
an endangered animal. So with I, which helping verb do we use? Very good. I am an endangered animal. Zoos across the world dash protecting me. Zoos. So we are talking of many zoos, which is plural. So with plural nouns, which helping verb do we use? Yes, come on, be quick. Very good. We use are. So zoos across the world are protecting me. Protecting means saving me. They are trying to save me. Right? Next one. Meat, fish, bamboo and eggs dash my favorite foods. Now, again we have to see whether we are talking of one thing or many things. Meat, fish, bamboo, eggs. So, these things are many in number. That means plural. So, with plural, which helping verb do we use? Very good. Are. Meat, fish, bamboo and eggs are my favorite foods. Yes, we have got to know a lot about panda. Let's learn some more things. My home dash in the mountain ranges of South Central China. My home, that means the place it is found. Where is he found? It is found in the mountain ranges of South Central China. My home. Now, which helping verb should come here? Again, see children, singular, plural or I. Yes, whom, that means singular noun. So, with singular noun, which helping verb do we use? Very good. Is. My home is in the mountain ranges of South Central China. I hope you have enjoyed doing this question. While learning helping verbs, we have learnt a lot about giant panda also. So, let's move on to the next question. We have already learned the usage of ISMR. So, what is there in store for us in the next question? Choose the correct words to fill in the blanks. Okay, a few sentences are given to you. And some options would be given to you. You have to choose the correct word to fill in the blanks. And here is the first sentence for you. There dash a program at our school yesterday. So was or were. There dash a program at our school yesterday. We have come to know that we are talking of something in the past time, the past tense. So, was and were are the two options. Now, which one would fit here? Remember children, we had learned that with there, both the helping verbs can come, was or were. There might be a sentence with there was. And there can be a sentence with there were also. But what should be there would depend on the thing that we are talking about. We are talking about a program. That means singular. We are talking of something that is singular. So there. Very good. There was a program at our school yesterday. Next one. 
my sisters dash in the boarding school last year my sisters now we have to pay attention to this subject about whom we are talking we are talking about sisters that is plural very good and with plural which helping verb do we use in the past tense last year that means past tense so which word should come here was or were sisters very good plural so were my sisters were in boarding school last year next one mother teresa dash kind to all was or were yes we are talking of one person that is mother teresa so the helping verb that would come over here is was mother teresa was kind to all next one there dash dinosaurs on earth millions of years ago okay again a sentence with there as we just discussed that it can be there was or there were but it would depend on about what we are talking is it singular or plural yes dinosaurs that means plural noun so with plural noun which helping verb should we use here very good were there were dinosaurs on earth millions of years ago so children i'm sure the usage of was were is also clear to you and you must have been able to do these questions on your own without looking at the answers now let's move on to the next question read the following conversation complete the dialogues by filling the blanks with has have or had now there is a conversation between two friends and we have to complete their dialogues the dialogues are incomplete and we are there to complete them by using the helping verbs has have or had let us see the first one is yes what is this girl saying she says do you know i dash pets at home yes remember the rule of has have and had with i what do we use very good do you know i have pets at home she is asking her friend that do you know i have pets at home so what does the friend has to say let us see okay she is the friend she says i know sumit dash a pet i did not know about you okay so she knows that sumit dash a pet sumit now sumit is singular or plural very good it is singular you are right so with singular which helping verb should we use when we are talking of possession yes has i know sumit has a pet i did not know about you okay so what does her friend say then she says i dash a dog and a parrot okay she says i easy for you i have i have a dog and a parrot and her friend replies my aunt also dash a dog i love dogs so she says 
my aunt also here she is talking about the position of her aunt that is singular so which helping verb should come over here very good has my aunt also has a dog i love dogs now the first friend asks do you dash a pet so what does she ask her do you so our point of concern is that when we are talking of possession which helping verb should we use with you yes we make use of very good have so she asks do you have a pet so is a friend having a pet let us see what does he answer i do not dash any pet now i dash a cat but it ran away last year okay now we have to be very careful first of all she says i do not dash any pet now so with i now she is saying now that means in the present tense so with i which helping verb do we use very good i do not have any pet now i dash a cat but it ran away last year so that means earlier she was having a cat when you are talking of your past possession what do you use which helping verb do you use very good i had a cat but it ran away last year okay children with that we come to the end of today's session you all have performed very well so clap for yourself that's all for today children happy learning stay blessed bye bye